Welcome to DNN. It's definitely not news. Episode 6. The news source that admits that we lie. First things first, the contest that was running in January has been won. There were a grand total of two correct guesses. I will announce the winner right after the headlines. And now, the headlines. In California, a furious Canadian dad demands a refund from the hotel, hosting a swingers party during his family's stay. Do you think maybe he'd been less upset if they hadn't uh, refused to let him into the party? Also, that's the very first mention I've ever heard of a furious or even angry Canadian in American media. So, maybe that's for the world record books? Also in California, the Disney Corporation, owners of such things as Marvel, Disney, and Fox News, failed to purchase the Critical Role web series earlier this day. They must have rolled a one on the persuasion check. In Australia, amid many bushfires, the Australian Prime Minister posted a fundraising donation link on his official website, not for firefighters, but for his own political party. I can't even really make fun of how boneheaded that decision was. In Missouri, a customer fell asleep on a comfy demo mattress right in the middle of the store. And no one noticed until he woke up the next morning when the store opened. Does this mean the staff was inattentive? Or does this mean the guy who fell asleep uncontrollably? I'm not sure, but I guarantee that it means that he doesn't snore. Uh, elsewhere in the States, in Arkansas, a man was accused of breaking into his ex-wife's ha ex wife's house. In Arkansas, a man was accused of breaking into his ex-wife's house and stealing a Dr. Pepper. That's just sad. I mean, if you're going to commit break and enter, which you shouldn't, by the way, it's my official warning, don't do that. But... If you're going to do it, at least steal something more valuable than one can of soft drink. Jeez. In northern Mexico, prison soccer match between rival cartels ends with 16 dead. <sighs> wow. With that kind of violence, I'm surprised the referee survived. In New Zealand, a dog finds an adult toy on her walk and the owner's are horrified that she won't let go. Honestly, I can see a benefit here. You train the dog to do that to intruders and they never, ever need to pay for security ever again. In Fort Frontenac, Canada, Canadian military police have been assigned to play Pokemon Go in order to prevent fans from invading the base. Okay, that's just weird. I can just see it now. Soldier! You are going to play that game, and you are going to catch yourself a Pikachu right now, or you're going to the stockade! <laughs> In Michigan, four underage men are accused of drinking while operating a horse and buggy. Is that really considered drinking and driving? I don't know. These have been your headlines for DNN Episode 6. If you can figure out when or if I was lying... Leave your guess in the comments below to be entered into a draw for a small prize at the end of the month. Speaking of draws, the draw for December has been figured out. As I said before, the winner is Craig. McGee? Well, I'll send you an email and we'll figure out how to get you the prize. Don't forget, there is a prize at the end of every month. And there's another one coming, so I hope you get a good guess in. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.